This is a new class that's going to start in a couple of seconds. It's called Introducing Course Syllabus in Creative Ways. Today is January 10. Hello, everybody, and welcome. Welcome to today's session. It is finally um, on. I've planned this a long time ago. As I said, I had to um, cancel the classes because um, I had a really nasty cold and uh, you could probably hear that my voice is not back. I still have a cold so bear with me. I hope um, I'll make it to the end. All right, if you could just add in the chat box where you're from and how you're doing and anything else you'd like to add, feel free to use the chat box as um, a notepad for yourself. You can chat away as much as you can because unlike the face-to-face -face, uh, class or meetings with people in a face-to-face -face environment where you can't talk all at the same time, in the chat box you can talk as much as you want. So um, get a sense of what that feels like by chatting away. All right, people will be coming in late, which is also fine because online there is a lot of flexibility, a lot of freedom. The only thing is that you can't edit the chat. Once you write something, that's it. Okay, so they haven't come up with um, a chat that is uh, editable, except on Facebook, of course, where you can uh, also um, edit messages, but not in the chat. Notice chats are still very, very much of the past. You cannot edit live online chats. All right, so we've got Eduardo, welcome from Israel. We've got Algeria, Nabila from Algeria, Maria from Argentina. Let's see who else we've got here today. I'm recording this, by the way, to YouTube. But your names will not appear because I'm just um, recording the uh, the center part, the whiteboard, and that's it. So whatever you write in the chat box is completely private. Okay, so feel free to... Um, and we've got Claire from Cyprus. Good to see you again. And Maria from Ecuador. If you could write a little bit about the weather down there, wherever you happen to be, whether it's... Um, North America, South America, Europe, and so on. And I love the way South Americans spell my name with a Y when I spell it with a, an IE, but that's okay. So it's sunny, eh? So you're having, are you having summer? It's also sunny in Algeria. That's great. And it's winter and it's, and it's nice. Okay, that's good. It should be nice everywhere. All right. So as you can see, I'm really dressed up warmly. It's pretty cold here. All right. So um, use the chat box to chat away about anything. Bogota. So we've got Colombia. And it's always... Is it in Bogota? Why is it? Because it's so high up, close to the clouds. <laughs> Well, I know because my husband spends uh, quite a bit of time, well, he used to anyways, in Colombia, so uh, I get a lot of reports and lots of photos from Colombia. Quito is higher. And is it cloudy as well in Quito? Not because of the altitude. <laughs> All right. Okay, so uh, today's session is about introducing the course syllabus in creative ways. We talked about the core syllabus in a previous class. So uh, your, one of your assignments is to create a syllabus. Many of us do not like to create syllabus. Let me ask you in the chat, how many of you like? Give me a thumbs up if you like to create a syllabus. You can see my thumbs down because I don't. <laughs> Okay, 
The reason I don't is because I have to continually change it. You know, learning. I mean, when you create a syllabus, you create it for the ideal student, but it doesn't exist. So sometimes, you know, we make changes, and which is why I love creating the syllabus online so that on Google Drive so that I can make changes. So we've got, okay, I've got a partner there. Nabila doesn't like to uh, write a syllabus. Okay, all right, so we have to anyways, or at least we have to follow, and our students need it, okay, especially if you're going to give them grades. If you're not giving grades, um, you may not want to have a syllabus, but it's good. It helps people focus on their goals and where they want to go. All right, so today I'm going to focus on how you can introduce the course syllabus online in creative ways. And I'm not going to talk about offline unless you want to print it, and that's another story. Uh, you will learn how to create a syllabus. You're going to create a syllabus yourself and uh, share it online. We'll be discussing Google Drive, PowerPoint, which is connected to Microsoft as well. We'll discuss MoveNote, one of my favorite, and it's pretty new, way of sharing the uh, course syllabus. Screencast-O-Matic, and if you know me, you know that uh, I love Screencast-O-Matic, so I added Screencast-O-Matic. Go Animate and Prezi. How many of you are familiar with one or two of these? If you could just add P for PowerPoint, M for uh, Move Note, just add the first letter P M S G N P, P for Prezi. So PowerPoint, I think most people are familiar. You don't have to pay money to get a Microsoft PowerPoint. You can create it on Google Drive. So you don't need Office. You can also get OpenOffice, which is completely free. So we're talking about free. Okay, so I see Eduardo, you know most of them. Oh, you know MoveNote as well. So you actually know all of them. And I know you use Screener and not Screencast-O-Matic. And Maria is also familiar with, what is difficult? Prezi, <laughs> okay. Prezi, yes. Not everybody likes Prezi because it moves too fast and some people feel that it's very distractive. It's, it's just a nice whistle and bell kind of thing, you know, but not everybody likes it. Okay, again, this PowerPoint presentation is in the course. I didn't add the link, but I should. Let me um, add the link so that you can get it. Once you have the PowerPoint presentation, you'll be able to click on the links, and I'll tell you what's clickable so that you can get the, uh, the URLs. Okay, so let me just get the uh, the course to help you out here. Okay, the name of the course is Learn to Blend and Flip with Technology. Okay, so there's the link to the course. And if you go to the course and you go to Courseware, you'll be able to get the link to all the content, the live recordings, recordings of the live classes, and um, also the PowerPoint or PDFs, YouTube videos, and everything that's in the course on WizIQ. Okay, so here's the link to the PowerPoint presentation, so you can follow. All right, so there it is. So what's clickable here is learn to blend and flip with technology. And okay, so let's get started. Are you ready? Give me a thumbs up if you're ready to get started or if you'd like to ask a question before we start. Okay, just let me know. Okay. Hello, Andres. Good to see you here. So Claire is ready. She doesn't know where the smileys are, unless you're on a tablet. If you're on a tablet, you will not have, or an iPad, smartphone, 
Right now, they don't have the smileys yet. Oh, so Claire got it. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so as I said, we're going to be looking at PowerPoint. What you need is to create a PowerPoint or a Word document. MoveNote, these are all completely free, Screencast, Tomatic, and Prezi. Go Animate is not free. I think it costs something like, uh, for individuals, $59 a year. But you know what? If you buy a lot of things online, it adds up. So uh, 59 could be a lot of money. Okay, let's start with a PowerPoint, which is completely free. You can create it on Google Drive. By the way, how many of you use Google Drive? Google Drive. I can't live without it. <laughs> okay, right. Google is doing so much to make teaching and learning easy. They're really doing, not yet, Claire. Do you have a Gmail account? You just need a Gmail account and you have it. Very good, Hart, Hartmut. That's great. You have a Gmail. You just need to have a Gmail account. That's all they want you to have. And it's completely free. Everything is free. And they're adding new apps all the time. So it's really exciting. You know, there's competition between Facebook, I guess, and um, Google Drive. And I think Google is winning when it comes to education. I don't know how much education is going on in Facebook. I started using it after. That's great. I'm so glad to hear that, Nabila. Thank you for sharing that. That makes me feel so good. You have no idea. Thank you. You love free. So do I, Maria. I only like free. Everything else, you know, is that's why I give free courses. Hopefully, people will uh, spread the word and uh, we can make learning free for all. All right. So, Google Drive, you can also get Open Office, even though I'm not sure how many of you have Open Office. It's completely free, it's a um, free source. Uh, what I don't like about Open Office is that it takes a lot of room. It's very, very bulky. I have no idea why, but it takes a lot of memory. So you might want to try it. If you don't want to buy Office, Windows Office, and you can use Open Office on Macintosh, so that that helps. Okay, and Microsoft Office, of course, costs money. It's not free. Okay, we're not talking about people copying illegal copies. All right, so we're going to be looking at this uh, course that is going to start. Well, the first uh, live class is tomorrow but it's officially starting on January 13. And this is a syllabus, okay, for the course. And it was created completely on Google Drive. To tell you the truth, I do everything on Google Drive. My PowerPoint presentations, my uh, Word documents, I connect with students on Google Drive, they uh, send me work and I, comment on it. I even correct it for them. Everything on Google Drive. Okay, so um, this was created on Google Drive and it's Moodle for Teachers Evo 2014. How many of you, by the way, are English teachers? I'm sorry, I'm having a hard time looking at the chat. I still have my cold uh, okay, so, wow. I should ask who is not an English teacher. Thumbs down if you're not an English teacher. Oh, and Spanish. Wonderful, Claire. I would love to learn Spanish. I think it's time I really um, started learning it in a more structured way, maybe on Second Life. Harmut is not an English teacher. And your name looks familiar. What do you teach, Hartmut? Your friend. <laughs> I know, I know, Maria. I know that everybody's learning Spanish there. Nancy's there. A lot of people are there learning Spanish. Oh, Bible teacher. That's wonderful. 
I know they study religion in Germany. I don't know if Hartmut, if you're from Germany, but I know that they uh, study all the religions in high school in the K-12 in Germany. And I think that's wonderful that, you know, that it's part of the curriculum to study all religions. Yes, yes, Nancy's there. Okay, so this is the, um, the course syllabus, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to take that course syllabus through MoveNote, which is completely free. And MoveNote adds video to, and here it is. Okay, so this is the syllabus. I added the syllabus to, and it's very easy. If they do it for you. You don't have to do anything. You just click, click, and um, it asks you where do you want the uh, files to come from, and you indicate Google Drive. They go into your Google Drive account, which is connected to MoveNote, and they give you a list of everything, and you just choose what you want. You know, technology is truly making my life easier. It really is, and I'm sure it will yours too. So as you can see, uh, there I am. Okay, it looks exactly like me, the way I look right now. Okay, because I took it just a while ago. Okay, there it is. And I got a screenshot using Jing. Jing is also completely free for those that are interested. Okay, Jing. Still free. Yes, of course you will try after class. And we'll help you, support you uh, in the course discussion forum, which is called the course feed. All right, so this is a syllabus from Google Drive. I added it. Notice number one, you record here. Number two, I don't know if you can see it. Once you record, you save and preview. And then number three, you can decide whether you want to keep it, save it, or start all over. If you're stuck at any time, notice number four, there's feedback. And this is great uh, because they do, they provide you feedback immediately. So, um, you know, what better way to learn than to get instant feedback? Okay, number five is the document itself. This is the PowerPoint, sorry, the uh, Google Drive Word document. And then number six is where you move the slides. You can see this is one of the six. L let me um, get the document for you, okay? Actually, I could ask you to get the document for me. The document is completely public. So you can get it anywhere. Let's see if uh, you get it before me. All right, let's have a little competition here. Okay. Let's see. In the other class, I think um, someone did get there before me. I'm usually pretty fast, but... Um, Okay, and I see that it's the wrong one. Okay, so we're waiting for one of you to try to find the document before I do. Okay, it's a public document. It's called Moodle for Teachers Evo. This is an ongoing, it's been going on for 10 years, not the Moodle, but the EVO stands for um, Electronic Village Online. Okay, now let's see if anybody got there before I did. Okay, oh my goodness, you've been doing nice work. All right, so let's see if you got the right one. Let's see, 
Hartmut got little dogs. Let's see if that's the correct one. No, you got the, you got the wrong one. I got that one first too. It's in the wrong place. I have to fix that. Sorry, but the last one is the correct one. Okay, it's um, it's this one. It's not Moodle MOOC three. It's Moodle for Teachers Evo fourteen. Okay, so try the last one and let me know if it works. If it takes you there. Okay, and I should be able to see you there. Okay, I see none of you are logged into your Google account, or I would see your name. If you log into your uh, Gmail account, you'll be able to see your name, and then you can add comments. All right, so let's continue. That's the document. The course, of course, is completely free. All right, so um, this once you record and you're happy with your recording, it initializes, okay? And this is what it looks like. It's pretty scary because at this point you may feel, oh my gosh, did I lose everything? I talked for so long and now it's gone. No, in a few seconds, you just have to be patient. You'll see this. All right, and that means that the video is ready. Instant video. Isn't it amazing? Move Node is the most amazing tool to this day. Okay, this is the tool, completely free. And uh, it's amazing. It, it is. It's, it's new. Okay, it's fairly new. And that's why it has uh, all the things that teachers and students need. You can connect with your students and the content and explain the content through the video, slide by slide or page by page. You can also have your students share their work. And that's even more important. You're just modeling for your students. But what we want is our students to be active and doing the work, the work and not for us to uh, do the work for them. OK, so learning is about doing and that's what we want them to do. So number one, tell me what number one is. Take a look at this. OK, this is editing. If you know something about Moodle and some other websites, you know that this number one is settings. That's where you edit. Number two is where you copy. So once your video is up or your student's video is up, they can copy the link and share it with the rest of the class. They can also automatically, number three, share it to any email. They can email people by clicking on Gmail. They can also, number four, share it on MoveNote. The first one is uh, MoveNote. Okay, there's the icon. Facebook, Twitter, Google+, LinkedIn, and others. If you click on the plus, you get a whole list of social networks that you can share, including blogs, that you can share the link or your students can share it with others. Okay, so this is a must. Okay, and you're going to be doing this during the week. Okay, this is going to be very important because starting at the end of the month, we're going to start, uh, and in February, we'll be working on web quests, okay? And you'll need to explain a lot of things to your students. So get ready to create a web quest, or maybe more than one, starting at the end of the month, January 31st, and then all of February, all the classes will be on web quests. Okay, so I'm really excited about that because I think web quests are incredible. They're inquiry-based learning, and uh, they're great projects for students of all ages. So all you need to do, basically, number five is click, and it opens up. All right, so that's move note, and there you can see me. Now, this is a setting that I mentioned. You can add a link 
to the, and if you're doing a web quest, for example, or any other, you know, we're talking about uh, courses and the syllabus, you might want to add a link to the website, to the Google Drive. So you can add the link. You can also change the background. There are a few colors right now. There may be more in the future. You can rename the presentation. You can edit the slides. Imagine you can actually edit the slides or the pages. Okay, they call them slides, but actually, in my case, it was a Word document. They were pages, one page. And then you can also embed. Isn't this exciting? You can embed this move note to your website, to a blog, actually embed it. You can embed it on Moodle in a Moodle course. Isn't that brilliant? It, it, it just is. And you can also get statistics of the people that have viewed, because this is all, it's a Google app, so that uh, Google is involved. So you can also get viewing statistics. And if you're not happy with it, you delete it. And that's great about anything online. Whatever you do, you can always delete. And if you delete it by mistake, you can do it again. And the more you do it, the better you'll remember. So it's not a bad thing to delete by mistake. Any questions so far about MoveNote? So the link to MoveNote, okay, is simply movenote.com, if I'm not mistaken. But if you uh, click on MoveNote now, you can create an account. And I suggest you do it right now. Okay, how about that? Go into MoveNote and create an account. This will ensure that you don't forget. Because we do tend to forget. All right, it's very natural. You can either go to Gmail and write MoveNote, but I suggest you open up a browser, a new tab, add MoveNote. Okay, it's MoveNote.com. And create an account. Notice and tell me how you can create an account. What are the different ways that you can create an account on MoveNote? Okay, if you could do that. Okay, let me know. And you can also, uh, let me go back here. Okay, you can also share the link. There it is. Okay, there's the move note. I think that's a presentation that I just shared with you. I'm not sure what I shared with you. Um, I think that it's not an archive, but let me get you the link to uh, what I shared with you. Okay, so you can actually watch the video. If not now, then later on. But at least, um, okay, let me share the link with you. So you can have it for later on. Okay, so here's the link. I'm adding it to the chat box. Here's the link to this move note and everything there. I could screen share it, but I'm not sure that that's the right thing to do right now. So is everybody busy creating their accounts? Notice the different ways of creating an account. You don't have to leave the class. All you have to do is minimize the WizIQ class. And if you go to the top left, there is the minimal. You minimize the class and then you open another tab so that you don't get kicked out. Or oh, you can't hear me. Well, of course you can't. Nobody can. <laughs> right. Uh, let me go back here. Yes, my... Thank you. Thank you, Teresa. Oops. Um, you're right. Oh, it's done again. Okay, notice it keeps going down. I don't know why. Okay, it's true. 
No, no, it's still, yep, it's back. Okay, sometimes <laughs> the, um, the audio goes down to zero. So make sure that the bar is going up and down. Just keep watching it. It's above my webcam. So when you're a teacher, make sure that uh, the bar is going up and down so that you don't lose. Thank you. Thank you so much, Teresa, for letting me know. So, Maria, you got it ready. And Hartmut has it. Um, anybody else have their account ready for a move note? Okay, now the question is this. All right, Maria, excellent. You're sharing something that says WizIQ on it. What is that? Um, <laughs> the wrong, you had, you probably had something on your uh, mouse, the wrong, you saved the wrong link on your mouse. Uh, that happens. Well, that, that, that can be embarrassing, by the way. <laughs> if you're chatting with someone and you have sa something saved on your mouse and you paste it, and it's the wrong link. Okay, there, that's it, Marie, I have it. So that's your link. Let's see what it looks like. Let me check it out. Excellent, so that's your account. To me, it looks like, um, you know, it looks different from the way it looks to you. Uh, it just simply looks like uh, a recording, a tutorial on how to use MoveNote. That's right. Okay, so how did you join? Did you create an account by writing your name and your and so on? What were some of the ways to join? Were you able to join through Facebook or sign up through Facebook? Were you able to join through LinkedIn, Twitter, Gmail? Oh, you were able to join through Yahoo Mail. That's great. Gmail. Hello, Helena, and welcome. Helena, you have to do this right now. What you need to do is you need to create a Move Note account. No excuses. You came in late, but we'll wait. Okay, so um, Helena. Helena, by the way, is one of the facilitators for the uh, Moodle for Teachers Evo for 2014. And uh, I'm hoping that uh, one of you or all of you will be the facilitators, co-facilitators next year when we have the course. Everyone can facilitate and you're welcome. So let's see, you created Teresa. Very good, excellent. All right. So um, who hasn't created an account yet? Let me know. We're talking about move note, and I see some people are coming in a bit late, but I said it's okay to come late because it's online and we are very flexible. You know, it's, um, it's you who lose out, actually. All right, so we're talking about movenote.com. It's free, and I just demonstrated how to create how to present the uh, syllabus, the course syllabus to the participants. Okay, so there it is again. I just added it. Oh, you did that quickly, Helena. That was very fast. Again, how did you join? Some of you joined through your email, some of you joined through um, social networks. I didn't see any social networks. I think most of you joined through your mail accounts. All right, let's continue. Okay, so that's one way. Next is Screencast-O-Matic. Screencast-O-Matic is my favorite screencaster. I know there are others like Screener, but I cannot use anything but Screencast-O-Matic because it just gets better and better. It's completely free and you can share whatever you do. All the uh, online work that you do, audio, video, or just plain screens. 
and share it on YouTube, Vimeo, um, and not just Vimeo, but also uh, Google Drive, Box, Dropbox, and you can also edit with Screencast-O-Matic. It has so many features. Now, I uh, personally pay. I pay because I want to have longer videos. I record long ones. Sometimes I record classes. If you want to, you can record up to, I think, three hours on your PC, but not on Macs um, yet, but it will happen on Macs too. So I pay something like, I think it's $10 a year. For three years, I paid $30. Reasonable. Okay, but again, you know, I'm not for paying. So you can use Screencast-O-Matic completely free. What you can do is you create a PowerPoint presentation or a Word document, and you can do this on Google Drive. No need to buy anything. You don't have to buy Office. Or you can get a PDF file. You can also convert your PowerPoint or your Word document on Google Drive to a PDF file, or you can actually share a website and the pages of a website. So these are some of the things. You can do anything on your screen. Whatever is on your screen, you can share using audio, video, and this costs money for free. But if you want to use writing tools, and this is amazing, if you want to write on the screen, and I'm going to demonstrate, even though I'm not using it here, but if you want to write on the screen, let me get uh, white here, uh, write on the screen, you need to pay <laughs> for a pro. Okay, but you can write on the screen, and not only write, um, you can also add arrows. So it's really, really exciting. Let me just add that so you can see what I just wrote. Okay, there it is. Okay, I just wrote this using uh, WizIQ. Now, on WizIQ, you can write on the screens as well, okay, on the whiteboard and whatever is on the whiteboard. But I'm referring to screencast o -matic. Okay, so that's really amazing. Oh, you have a pro, Maria. That's great. So use it or you lose it. Okay, you got to use it because screencast o -matic, I mean, it takes practice with all these tools. If you keep using it, you'll get better and better and then it'll make your life easy. But if you don't know how to use it, it's not going to make your life easy because you're going to spend a lot of time relearning and relearning. So use it, enjoy it. All right, and this is what it looks like. I wanted to show you Screencast-O-Matic. Thank you, Helena, for sharing. Yes, exactly, Claire. Practice certainly makes, well, I don't know, perfect, but they say if you do something for 10 minutes a day for a whole year, you will be the expert. So why not do a little bit of a screencast every day for 10 minutes and you'll be an expert by the end of the year, maybe before. All right, so you can see what's happening here. Okay, here I was uploading this um, screencast that I made. And it's on YouTube, by the way. And I was here it's 12%. Notice you can edit. You can publish it for free. This is free on YouTube, Vimeo, Google Drive. You can also get a video file, MP4, Box, Dropbox, and you can also get screenshots, which is really, really handy. If you want to see what this looks like, if you go to YouTube video, this is a 30-minute uh, video, which is kind of long for a video for a YouTube tutorial, I think. Okay, but um, there was a lot of information that I wanted to do. The question that I always keep in mind is that videos should be short, but it's better, even though it's very tempting, it's better to break a video down into sections 
than to have a video for 30 minutes. Even though it could be interesting, but nonetheless, I'm not sure if this is what we want our students to okay, go through. Okay, we don't want our students to be overburdened. <laughs> Their attention span is short as it is. Okay, so there's the video. I created the video. Actually, uh, I could share it here. Okay, but sometimes it's problematic with people. Um, I just want to show you uh, what the results of a screencast matic video. Okay, so it's On initializing. I hope you can in see the course this. administration in this case. But this is my profile settings. So notice I'm going to do the following. I'm going to edit my profile, but I also want you to notice that I have a chance. Okay, let's go to the beginning. I think this was. That's Hello and welcome. Welcome to Moodle for Teachers Moodle website. Yes, this is a Moodle site where you can take courses on how to Moodle for free. This is currently Moodle 2.5, but it's going to be upgraded to Moodle 2.6 in a few months. So let's get started. Well, the first thing we do when we get to the site, okay, so it's Moodle for Teachers, you can see it right here in the browser window. First thing we do, we log in. We can log in up here, the top right, this is uh, just the theme, or I've added this block, okay, log in. If you've already created a, an account, you can simply go in with your username, but right now, you may need to create an account. In case you have missed that, if you look here, at the tab, you'll see sign up as well as sign in. If you get stuck at any time, contact for support and support will be there to help. Okay, I stopped it. Um, go through the video. The point was to show you that I can use the arrows. And uh, Eduardo, you asked about a video. I don't think it should be longer than five minutes. That's what they say. But I would make it under three. Under three minutes, I think is enough. Two, three minutes. I think the, the shorter and the more you can get into a video, the better. Okay, because even five minutes can be really long. <laughs> okay, I think I, uh, I did that in how many... I think you got the idea that was done in um, how many minutes? That was done in a minute. Okay, what you saw was about a minute, a minute or so, but you got the idea. So, you know, why talk so much? You know, um, teachers tend to like to talk. I mean, we all like to talk, but we have to give our students a chance to do the learning and not do the learning for them. Okay, so uh, yeah, it takes practice, Eduardo. It really does take practice to keep it down. You know, sometimes I look at the uh, video and I see, oh my gosh, 30 minutes. You know, that's bad, Nelly. I mean, you know, you, you have to <laughs> control that. It's not, but it's not easy, you know, because um, there's so much I want to say and there's so much I want to show. And then I realized that that's the problem. You know, it's this need that teachers have, like myself, because we, we want to give them everything, you know, everything that we know. We just, we want to make life easy for them, but that's not a good thing for them. And, and if you think of your, you know, your high school, your, your own children that want to experience life for themselves and they don't want to be told what to do, how to do. It's the same thing with students at any age. They want to do it on their own and not listen to us. So um, yes, Maria, all the arrows are part of the pro. If you paid money, you get a chance to write on the screen and you can see the arrows and you can make circles and you can write and okay, the screen stop and then you can speak as you write. But yes, it takes practice, but it's a lot of fun. So 10 minutes a day and you'll be an expert before you know it. Okay, so that's screencast o -matic, a great way to share your course syllabus with your voice. You can also add a video. I didn't mention this, but you can also add your video to 
screencast-o-matics, but I don't know if that's not distracting. You know, having my face there while they listen could be distractive. So uh, maybe just audio, just the voice. All right, things to think about and try out. You know, try it out with your students, ask your students, see how they respond and um, improve. This is another way. This, this is great. This is an amazing program. It's called Go Animate. How many of you have heard of Go Animate? Give me a thumbs up if you've heard of it. You may have and not recognized it. It's a great way to get someone else to speak for you. A cartoon character. Uh, they use it for businesses and that's why it costs money. It's like the craft. You can, have you heard of the craft? What's it called? The craft um, something or other. The craft. It costs money. So maybe you could get your school to pay for it. I know they have accounts for schools, not only for businesses. This is for an individual, non-commercial, $59 a year. Okay? Every year. You have to pay every year. Okay, so it's not just one time. And you make a video using characters, and it's all built in, and it's amazing. So it's, you know, a way of doing it, but it costs money. Next is Prezi. How many of you, and I know that I asked this at the beginning, and I think Maria mentioned the fact that uh, she finds it difficult. How many of you find Prezi difficult? I remember when Prezi came out, everybody was so excited. It's a lot of fun for students. Maria, you don't have to use it. You can get your students to do it. That's what I do. I ask my students to do it for the web quest, for project-based learning. And then I ask them to use Screencast-O-Matic and share what they did in a video. So I combine Prezi with Screencast-O-Matic. You can also combine Prezi with MoveNote. You can upload to MoveNote anything. It could be audio, video, text, PowerPoint, PDF, whatever you want. Okay, so, um, and it's completely free. Prezi is free. If you want more whistles and bells, you have to pay. They do have a pro program, but it's free. Yes, Claire, 10 minutes a day. That's the idea. 10 minutes a day. 10 minutes is nothing, you know, when you think about it. And you will be an expert in whatever it is. Try it. And if I'm wrong, tell me, because it's not my idea. Okay, this isn't something that I made up. Yeah, Helena. Helena, I think... <laughs> I think we're connected somehow. Yeah, Prezi doesn't suit everybody. It doesn't suit Helena. It doesn't suit me. I just find it a waste of time, but 10 minutes a day and you'll be an expert, Helena. Um, sorry, what's Prezi? Oh, I'm sorry, Nabila. Uh, can someone add uh, Prezi? Let's go to Prezi. Prezi is... Not that old, actually. Uh, how old is Prezi? I think it's just a couple of years old. It came out with a bang because it's very, very interactive. It's a lot of fun if, um, if you like to spend time but it, you know, you have to spend time anyways. So as I said, 10 minutes and you'll be the expert. But there's Prezi. And you can add everything to it. You can add videos, audio, images, slides. I think it's great for students. I really do. I think that students... Uh, would benefit from using Prezi with the content. Whatever they're learning, whether it's literature, whether it's a grammatical point, a story, um, a reading task, you can ask them 
to use Prezi. However, it's not all the skills. So if we're talking about English language learning or Spanish language learning and so on, I think MoveNote would be perfect for language teachers because you can get students speaking and writing and sharing their writing at the same time. Again, we're talking about course syllabus here, but students is what it's about, not the teachers. All right. So convert. By the way, Michael Wesch. I think it's Michael Wesch. I don't know. Have you heard of Michael Wesch? I, I interviewed. I even I met him actually. Um, we talked. Michael Wesch uh, is the man behind. He did a video, an amazing video, a few years ago, uh, called "The Machine Is Us." He's an anthropologist, an amazing man. And he started actually the video craze. He's on Wikipedia too. Um, he works at Kansas State University and he started something called digital ethnography. And he became very famous. Now he makes a living <laughs> presenting, even though he also teaches because he comes from a family of teachers. I think he also presented at TED Talks. What his famous, um, he's got a page now, let me share it with you. You'll find if you Google Nellie Deutsch and Michael Wesch, you'll find my interview with Mike. He hopes that by the age of 40, he'll make enough money presenting that he won't have to work anymore. <laughs> but in the meantime, he's quite busy with his family. Um, there. Okay, so he created a few videos that were really, really amazing. One of the videos was, um, I'm trying to think, The Machine is Us. The Machine is Us. See if you can find it on uh, YouTube. I think it's called The Machine is Us. Um, I don't know how many millions have watched it. The machine is us, or the machine is using us. The idea is be, is uh, the same in 2007. The machine is us, or using us. The machine is us. And um, he made another version of it because he didn't like it. Mike is a perfectionist. He likes everything to be 100%. I became addicted. This was like the big hit. It's, um, how long is it? It's four minutes long. Let me add the link to the chat. It's just amazing. This is like history. <laughs> Going back to 2007, you found it, Claire? It's just amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, let me see if I can get it here so that you can watch it. I don't know if it's going to work right now. I think that I messed up something here. Okay, here, let me try to get it. The machine is us. Let's see if it's this one. No, it's not this one. It's this one. I fell in love with the music and I told Mike, I said, Mike, oh, no, no, this is not what I want. On the left in oh, the course is, administration. This voice. Oh, I'm just going to hear my voice. It looks like it's all my voice. No. Oh, there it is. Okay, here it is. There. Are you familiar with this? This is Michael Wesch. He did a study on YouTube for one of his classes at university. Familiar with it? I'm, ad I'm addicted to the music. one second okay you can watch it later on so that's my question and what Mike Wesh said was the reason I brought him up is that he decided that he was going to make sure that his students are active and he keeps trying out new things he said I'm going to have my students create the syllabus so his students created the syllabus 
for a university course. Now, only Michael Wesch can get away with that, of course. So the students worked in teams. Yesterday, I talked about team learning, okay, for those of you who missed it. And they, the students themselves, imagine, the students created the course syllabus. What do you think of that? I think it's great. Imagine if your schools would allow your students to create the course syllabus. How many of you uh, think your schools would accept that? I know my school wouldn't. No way that uh, Atlantic University is going to let me do that. Okay, no way, right? Okay, so that's my question. All right, I wanted to show you we're at the end of uh, the presentation. This is a presentation. And... Um, I wanted to show you a way where you can convert everything, anything to everything. Okay, convert anything to everything. This is completely free. And I want to share it with you so you can convert any file to anything. Okay, it's called Cloud Convert. And um, if I haven't shared it with you before, I'm doing it now because you need to use it. All right. Make your life easy. There we go. So whether you're using a Mac or a PC, whatever you're using, uh, there is. There it is. OK, convert anything to anything. And another little thing that I wanted to share with you today. You know that Tiny, and I'm really angry, that's why I want to share this with you. As Maria said, I also like free. Tiny URL have started charging money. And not only charging money, they add ads. And, and how many of you like to see ads all over the place? Because it's free. They want to make money, right? So they're making money on you. You hate it. So do I. And that's why I want to share this with you. Okay, this is a way to make your, don't go to tiny URL anymore because now they're making a mess and I'm really angry. But Google has a tiny URL that's completely free. And again, Google is coming to the rescue by making things free for us so that we don't have to pay for learning. I mean, we're only teachers. All we're trying to do is make life easier for our students. So why should we have to pay for that, right? So there it is. There's the link. It's completely free, and I'm really excited about it because notice you convert your link because a lot of the Google sharing that we do, the URL, the links are so long. Okay, so we want to shorten them, but we don't want to see a lot of ads. So this is what you will see. Okay, you put your link in here. You shorten the URL. And that's it. It stays with you. It doesn't disappear. It stays in your account. Okay, because this is Google Drive. It's part of Google. Okay, there's the drive, there's your Gmail, YouTube, and so on. And you can see how many people, how many clicks. Notice this one had 54 clicks already. Okay, so again, Google is coming to the rescue. And then you can also find your links by giving them names. Okay, here are the details. So that's what I wanted to share with you. Okay, because I got fed up with tiny URL that are making putting ads on their pages. All right, so this is the end of the session. If you have any questions, please add them to the course. And um, the course, let me share the course with you. Okay, so that um, you can ask questions in the course. Anybody have the link to the course? Quick link. Well, let me share the, uh, the PowerPoint presentation again with you so that you will see the link. Okay, so there's the PowerPoint presentation. And on the PowerPoint presentation, you will see 
the link to the course. All you have to do is learn to blend and flip with technology. All you have to do is go to the course where to get content. Okay, everything is there, including the uh, recording of this class. And you can also go to the course feed and get and write discussions for the discussions. Okay, so let's continue talking there. This course has a certificate at the end. So if you do everything, you get a certificate signed by me. And that's worth something. It'll be signed by Dr. Nelly Deutsch. Okay, and um, I'm looking forward to seeing you in the courseware. So uh, thank you so much for joining me. And remember, all the classes are listed for this course under courseware. So thank you so much. And thank you. Who's that? Helena, you've got a link there. Tell me what it is. Presentations for. Tell us, what is that? <laughs> so we don't have to click. All right, for those of you that are interested, copy the chat just below my head. It says copy chat, copy the chat. Hello, Susan, I'm glad you made it. Okay, so copy the chat so you have a chance to get all the links that were in the chat. And thank you. Thank you, everyone. You were great and you deserve a lot of claps. There we go. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. And I made it with my voice. I thought I wasn't going to get through to it. This is my co first coffee after two weeks of no coffee, only teas. So uh, I hope that the weather is good in your area and that you don't get the cold. Bye. This will be recorded. As I said, it'll be uploaded to YouTube and you'll get a chance to see this in the courseware. So look for it. Bye for now.